What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and I just finished watching episode 9 of Titans. And every single time I watch an episode, I leave just a little bit more confused as to what direction they're going and why they're going that direction. This is a weird version of the team, and for every time they absolutely nail a character, they just get a character completely wrong. And I don't really understand why they went this direction, what the point is, and it's it wants to be a good show, but in the end it's like equally parts bad and good. And I'm going to do a quick recap of uh, the first eight episodes before I launch into the ninth one, and it looks like there's only two episodes left, so I'm not really sure what's going on. It's, it's totally confusing and baffling to me why they've taken it down this path. Now... The series in general, like you watch it and I feel like I feel like it's a bunch of set pieces. They they basically have like I don't know, it, it's it's lacking in a lot of the polish that a lot of other shows like, you know, Arrow and Flash and, and those have, where you can tell that they are they're finding kind of low key, low budget locations and hoping, you know, good camera work and, you know, some good angles and shots kind of make up for the rest. Um, so the first episode, you know, kind of kicks us off. We see a little bit of Raven. We see a little bit of Grayson. And we see a little bit of Starfire, who has no idea who she is. Um, now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know if that's how she got started, that she came to Earth and had no idea who she was. Uh, or what she was doing, but maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, I do not love Anna Diop as Starfire. I think she's fine enough as an actress. Um, she is not Starfire. I'm sorry. And it's not because of her complexion or, you know, her race or nationality or any of those things. Actually, I guess I could say it is complexion. Um, you know, she should be just a little more orangey, you know, I kind of feel like maybe somebody, I don't know, like they don't, I don't mind that the actress that's playing her, I just feel like maybe she needs a little bit more makeup and the hair is just so bad. Like the hair is awful. I hate the hair. So like right from the get go, that's always been my issue with Titans is Starfire is a miss for me. And you know, Dick Grayson does not feel like Dick Grayson. Like, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. But, like, the swearing, like, just some of the things that they do, it just, it's so, it feels like a teenager acting out. So, I don't really, can't make heads or tail of, of Raven. You know, Rachel, she's, she's young, she has no idea what's going on. So, I'm trying to be open with that. Uh, then we go into episode two, Hawk and Dove, and I don't think there are many comic book shows that get two characters right better than Hawk and Dove. I mean, they look phenomenal. They look so comic book accurate, and it works really well, and it makes it kind of real to see them go through like their pain and whatever, um, and whatever they're dealing with and stuff like that. And uh, it's kind of funny that, you know, um, Hawk is uh, being played by the same actor that was Aquaman in Smallville. And uh, I just find that to be kind of funny. And, you know, he's got his anger issues and stuff like that. And, you know, Dove is just Dove. She's lovely. She's beautiful. And she's just a, a really cool character. We get the nuclear family in there and they're chasing down Rachel. So I don't know. It, it's, it's fine enough. Like they're on the run. But, like, I just don't... This is just a weird way to kick things off. Uh, then there was Origins, which, you know, to me is kind of a whatever episode. We do finally get to see um, Beast Boy implemented. And I'm fine with Beast Boy. Um, he's a little more mature than I would have expected in a lot of ways. And then there's Doom Patrol, which might be the best episode of the show so far. Um... You know, he, we, they are getting their own show, even though it's not the same people, I don't believe, which is also kind of weird. Um, so, I mean, it's, 
it's a pretty solid episode, and that's really actually Beast Boy's kind of introduction to the team. And again, I don't know enough about Beast Boy to know how accurate that is. I'll just settle for it and whatever. Um, together, you know, the nuclear family uh, tracks everybody down again, and they're like kind of stashed out at a hotel, and uh, they kind of finally get the best of them. And uh, we, we get to see a little bit of everybody's powers. Oh, and by the way, Starfire and uh, <laughs> and uh, Dick Grayson, they hook up. Because why not? Um, I don't remember in the comics if that's... I know that, you know, Dick gets around. Uh, no pun intended. But um, I don't remember if, if that's who he's kind of hooking up with in the comics maybe it is but you know starfire gets around too so whatever um i mean it is what it is i thought he was with somebody else but i i digress uh jason todd makes an appearance apparently he is the robin at this point in time and uh i don't know i can give or take on that episode uh it's it's weird seeing them both as robin it is interesting though seeing them interact as robin we get a little bit more character depth there. So that's one of the, the better episodes. Uh, episode 7 is Asylum. And they are literally in an asylum finding Rachel's mom, her birth mother. And, you know, the team actually, uh, you know, they're, they're prisoners. And it's, it's an interesting enough episode. But I feel like that episode in particular, it's like they just find one location and just it... it, it shows the budget of the show not that it needs to be a super expensive you know overly cgi budgeted show or anything but you know i actually appreciate that i can see all right well they're they're basically you know making the best of what they've got and it, it actually comes out really well Cin cinematography in this is actually the show is actually pretty good i don't mind that i just the story is just weird and then there's uh, episode eight, Donna Troy, and I actually uh, actually like that episode a little bit. Um, I think the actress playing Donna Troy, uh, who I looks familiar but not familiar with, um, she plays the part very well. Um, it, again, just all the things that they're doing. I think the biggest issue is they're not very superhero-y, if you will. Uh, they're just not like. It just, it's too gritty, too real. It's not what I expected out of a, a comic book style show. Even Arrow and even, you know, Legend, well, Legends of Tomorrow is kind of as campy as it gets. But you know, even Arrow and, and Flash, you know, as real as they feel, they still feel like comic book, you know? And this is just not comic book enough for me at times. Uh... Tonight's episode, the episode I just watched that came out on Friday, Hank and Dawn, episode 9, is kind of a flashback story. And this is kind of the point where I disagree with the direction they're going. Like, if they want a Hawk and Dove show, make a Hawk and Dove show. They literally dedicated and derailed the entire series to show how Hawk and Dove hank and dawn came together and it's a good story i don't mind them showing a backstory of these two but like i would prefer to just take it out of titans it doesn't it i understand that the episode you know episode two that the things that happened in that episode still linger and still you know have meaning and i understand that it's a huge long setup for there to be you know, for them to to get a message from Raven that they need help. But at the same time, I just feel like they just derailed the whole story. Like, once a week we're watching these episodes of Titans, and now we're dealing with Hank and Dawn and Hawk and Dove. I'd love a Hawk and Dove show. Like I said, as far as comic book accuracy goes, their costumes, phenomenal. Like, absolutely perfect. And, like two of the best costumes that have ever existed in a comic book related TV show or movie. Like that's how good they are. 
they really nailed it and they don't look too out of place and they even fit them in you know with the interaction with the the criminals they're dealing with so my just my issue is you know they're they're just it's too early it's too early they're trying we're trying to like establish the titans and we're nine episodes in and now we have an entire episode where all we see is raven like in the reflections of a mirror saying i need your help like three or four times in the episode I don't understand the purpose of doing that. And, you know, maybe you'll say, hey, I like that. Um, it, it's good. But I don't know, man. Like, I'm really struggling with the show because, like, it's well made. It's well produced. The actors are doing what they're supposed to. I think they all do a good job. But, like, it's so weird. It's so, like, wishy-washy and, like, out of place. Um, like, the characters, they're not... They're, they don't feel like the characters they should be, you know, like just, I don't, I don't think that these are who they are, you know, especially Dick Grayson. Like, I don't know. I can't deal with him. Like he's killing people and I don't buy it, you know? And like, I f like, again, I feel like every time there's a swear or they say anything like quote unquote edgy. It feels like just a teenager acting out. It doesn't feel right or normal. It feels like they're doing it because they can. And I want this show to do well because I want DC Universe to do well. I mean, I, I bought a whole year of it, so I want to get the most use out of it. And, you know, I would love it if they did a, a Hawk and Dove show. That would be fantastic. I just don't really feel like we've now dedicated like two, almost two full episodes to them out of nine and they're not even a part of the team. And they are I doubt they're going to be part of the team. So, like, I don't really see where we're going, you know? I just don't know that it's the direction I would go. So, I would say so far, though, out of all the characters that we've seen, I definitely feel like, you know, <laughs> as, as much as I railed on them, Hawk and Dove, they are definitely two of my favorite characters. Just, I don't need them to be in Titans. I'd rather they be in their own thing. And then you cross them over. Like, I feel like that would have been a, a much better approach. But what do I know? Um, I do really like, you know, the Doom Patrol. Uh, I thought they were pretty cool. And I do like Donna Troy. I do feel like uh, Dick Grayson, you know, his actor is really good. He feels like he's going to make a solid Nightwing. We've seen him kind of bury the Robin thing. And it seems like at some point he should hopefully become Nightwing. Um, that's been alluded to, if you will, but, uh, I'm just a little confused because I'm looking on the site and everything and I see we have, you know, episode 10 coming up in five days and then there's an episode 11, uh, which it says is dated 12, 21, uh, 18. So I don't know if that's just the date that it says the Titan story continues, watch new episodes on Fridays for episode 11. Then there's nothing. And... I understand that this is like season one. I understand there's going to be more at some point, but I just don't, I don't like the pacing of this. We've seen short form, you know, series like daredevil, Jessica Jones and all the other ones. I don't need to say them all. And we've seen those short form series and they have like something of a pace. And these shows feel a lot like those ones, but uh, I don't know. I just want my, I just want this to be a little bit more comic booky, and, you know, not necessarily like, you know, all sorts of goons and whatever, but like, I don't know, man. It just doesn't feel like, it just feels like, I don't know that we're ever going to get to, like, I don't know how they're going to handle Trigon, you know, like they keep talking about her father, Rachel's father and, and this and that. And I just, I don't know, man, like, uh, I don't really understand the direction they're going. I can say, um, you know, seeing Jason Todd, I would not hate it if they they found a way to make him Red Hood um, and, and did a Red Hood show. I, I feel like, you know, DC Universe is really cool, and I want this show, like I said, to be very successful. Uh, I just don't know that it's really what I, 
I hoped it would be. It's not as bad as I think we thought it would be, though. Like, or I, anyway. Um, because, you know, when we saw those initial trailers, the F Batman and, and all that stuff. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, we made fun of that. I feel like I say we because I feel like I wasn't alone. I feel like pretty universally that was panned. And it didn't really go over well. And I don't know, man. Like, just episode 9, it rubbed me the wrong way because... It's, it's supposed to be Titans. It's way too early to be doing, you know, these types of flashback episodes about characters that aren't even really in the show, you know? And I'm sure there's going to be a good payoff to it. I mean, the story was good enough. I don't, I don't believe that's really how it went, but because, you know, Hank's brother was the original Don, and, you know, things happened to him, but not that fast, you know? Like... It was basically like their first, their, their, the morning after their first night out, you know. Actually, I don't know for sure that it, how long they had been doing it, but it seems like they hadn't been doing it long and uh, bit the dust. So, I don't know, guys. Who's watching Titans? Because, like, I know that it's, it's buried in DC Universe. I know there's a lot of people that aren't going to buy it. I don't know. I heard in Europe it's on Netflix, but I don't know. Um, I really do want this to, to do well. I want DC Universe to do well. Um, I think it's a good platform. It's a good service. There's a lot of really cool stuff there. Um, it's certainly lacking a little bit at the at the beginning. Um, I was given a year subscription when I was at DC Comics, uh, but I gave that to my brother because I had already bought a year. Um, so, like, I don't know, man. I just... I want to see it do well, and I just don't really love the direction that it's going. It's saveable. Like, they can definitely redeem it. Um, Starfire to me is a mess. Beast Boy. Beast Boy, my biggest problem is they're making him too real, okay? Like, every time that he transforms, and so far you can only transform into a tiger, every time he transforms, he's naked. And can't we suspend our disbelief just enough that the clothes go somewhere when he transforms and when he transforms back they come back on like i know that maybe we're gonna get there at some point and they'll have like some kind of costumes or whatever but like it's weird watching watching him get naked and and stuff like that and then transform to the tiger and then transform back i don't really know again it's early you know, we're watching the, the birth of the Titans. Maybe there will be a payoff, you know, come season two or three, you know, as we watch them grow and as we watch the show grow. But I just don't... If if episode 11 is really the last episode of the season, I really feel like it's a waste because they didn't get me so far. I mean, there's still at least two episodes to go. They didn't get me where I needed to be to fast enough you know and the things that happened along the way uh weren't enough you know so uh, this is like a five out of ten the literal middle it is average you know it wants to be at least a seven but sometimes it can be a three so like i just i'm a little frustrated by it because i want it to do a lot better i want it to be better and i know it can be better so we'll see. Um, but I'm mostly interested to see who else is watching Titans. I'm mostly interested to see, am I alone in feeling this way? Like, do other people, you know, feel the same way as me? Uh, it, could it do more? Should it do more? Could it be better? I think so. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, I will try to start doing reviews of each episode as they come out. Because um, I think that's... The there's going to be changes to the channel, and I think that's a path I'd like to go down. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you.